Hi, welcome to this video deck, which is about uh, one of the true greats of technical analysis. His name was William Terence Hamilton. Not many Forex traders have heard of him, but he was a true pioneer uh, in the field of charting. And the theory that he developed is still very applicable today. Now, you might not have heard of Hamilton, but you might have heard of Dow theory. Now, Dow theory, um, the reason why Hamilton is so significant is he took Dow theory and he made it a practical working strategy in the markets. He was the first guy um, to really um, explore the concept of trend following, understand um, the market as a discounting mechanism, understand periods of sideways consolidation, accumulation, distribution. Um, and you know, the theory is still um, the greatest technical theory in my view. Now, Hamilton is actually kind of forgotten to history. Yet in the period um, that he was around in the early 20th century, there are a couple other technical analysis around. And they basically are very popular today. They are um, Elliott and Gartley. Obviously, Elliott, uh, wave theory, Gartley patterns and ratio trading. Yet, if you put Hamilton against them, um, he was a far better technical analysis and he actually had the track record to back him up. Um, Elliot died in poverty, never made any money from trading. Gartley never even traded, he was just a newsletter writer. Um, if you take Hamilton, not only did he develop a strategy, he actually published his forecasts. Um, as public record. He called six major bull and bear markets. And he also, just before the crash of 1929, uh, put out an article called The Turning of the Tides, where he forecast that the Dow would plunge and there'd be a bear market for years. That's exactly what happened. And shortly after that, about three weeks later, he actually died. Um, but he is one of the true greats uh, of technical analysis. So, why is he not popular when Gartley and Elliot are? Well, I think the problem with Hamilton is he didn't come up with anything really sort of wacky or predictive, which the other two theories do. Hamilton's theory is based around probabilities. But yeah, don't let that put you off. It is one of those true great theories um, that many of the greatest traders in the world hold in high regard, uh, one being Vic Spirandio. That's where I first got interested in Dow Theory when I read about it in his book uh, Methods of a Wall Street Master. And that is a book um, you should certainly go and get because he brings Dow Theory up to date uh, in his view and also the works of Hamilton. Yeah, if you want to understand trend following, then you need to understand Dow Theory. Now, many people who watch my videos know I always make the contrast between um, the ocean and surfing and trading. A lot of people think Ed Sakota was the first person to do that. It was actually uh, from Dow Theory. In terms of Dow Theory, the big primary trend you know, was referred to as being like the tides. The intermediate term trend was described as being like the waves. I could be going with the big trend or it could be counter trend action. And then you had what uh, is in Dow theory called short-term fluctuations, uh, which are just basically the froth of the ocean, which were not considered significant. It was the big trend and the intermediate term trends um, that were important in Dow theory. And you know, if you want um, to make money at Forex trading, I would strongly recommend uh, you do some research on Hamilton, get uh, Methods of Wall Street Master, Trader Vic. And just to go out of this video, I put together um, some of my favourite quotes on down theory and also summarised why I think it is so important for traders to study what is one of the best theories of technical analysis ever. So I hope you enjoy uh, my little summary. I've just done it over uh, some surfing footage, which I think is very apt in terms of Dow theory and its connection or its contrast with the tides and waves of the ocean. Thank you very much, and here's the summary.